I am Anil Kumar sharing with you another interesting question which comes from one of our viewers. Now on one of our very popular video where we are trying to find points inside a circle with integer values, the question was if the center of the circle is changed from origin to some other point then what happens? Now we are answering this question. Let's look into the modified form. How many coordinates with integer value will lie inside the circle x plus 1 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square equals to 25? Correct. So you will notice here that this circle has radius equals to 5 and center is now at minus 1, 1. Perfect. Now, not at origin. We are only interested in integer value of inside points and that to in numbers, not the points, right? So, how many means only numbers we are interested in. So, so since we are only interested in numbers, we can always look into congruent circles. Perfect. So the best to take is definitely the one with center at origin. So we'll get back to the circle x square plus y square equals to 25. Does it make sense to you? Now both these circles will share same number of points. They are congruent, correct? These two circles, since they are congruent, they will have same number of points. Right? So, we will work with the congruent circle. So, let's make one and uh, try to figure it out. So, let me make a circle here. Okay. Assume that this is our circle with radius 5. Now, we will count the number of points inside. Now, circle with radius 5, we do not have to count the points which are on it, right? For example, this is 0, 5. We don't have to count this. This is, for example, 4, 3. I mean, we don't have to count this. This could be 3, 4. We don't have to count this. And that is 0, 5. That is not to be counted. Correct? Count rest of the points. So, we can begin with with origin itself. So one of the point is the origin which is 0, 0. Then let's go to the axis. So on each axis we'll have so we have already taken this point which is the origin. Now in each axis we have 1, 2, 3 and 4. Fifth one is not there, right? So 1, 2, 3, and 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4, correct? So we have 4 times 4, which are 16 points, integer values, right? So it is like 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, all are integers. So we get 1 for origin, 16 for the axis. Now, we can look into quadrants. So now let's look into quadrant 1. Well, all coordinates are symmetrical since origin. Uh, yeah, if I take this, all four coordinate points will be symmetrical, right? So, circle has both symmetry, right? So, it is both even and odd symmetry. So, this point, for example, will be 1, 1, then 1, 2, 1, 3, and 1, 4. So, let's start listing them for the ease of understanding, right? So, 1, 1, then we have 1, 2, 1, 3 and 1, 4. 1, 5 will move out, right? You can always substitute in the formula and you see the square of 5 plus 1 makes it 26, which is greater than 25. It is outside. Now let's look into the second row. So it'll be like 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. And whether 2, 4 will be on it or not, you could do a simple calculation, which is which is kind of like this, 2 square plus 4 square, right? So that gives you 4 plus 16, which is 20, so it is inside, so it qualifies. 
this has to be less than 25 that's what we are looking for then 3 3 1 3 2 3 3 3 4 is on it we know it so let's forget about it 4 1 4 2 and 4 3 is also on it right so so that is how we do get all our list we can just count right so it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so we have 13 points in quadrant 1 so in quadrant 1 we get 13 points correct so how about all four quadrants so that means uh, now in quadrant 1 in quadrant 2 in quadrant 3 and in quadrant 4 we should have 13 times 4 which is a deck of cards 52 so now we have all our points perfect so the total sum indeed is 1 plus 16 plus 52 perfect so that gives you 9 6 69 is the answer so that is how you get your solution so that is how you could actually get very easily number of points inside a circle for the given radius now this strategy could be extended to any circle anywhere now perfect i hope that helps feel free to share my videos subscribe to them and keep writing comments as you have been contributing thanks for watching and all the best